Hello everyone, T-Man978. I'm about to review Target exclusive Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Decepticon Runabout. But previous video was my first Transformers Kingdom review for their core class Optimus Prime. Check that out at the end. T-Man 978, chill review. All right, just like my last video, I already reviewed this mold, so I'm going to take the easy way out and start in vehicle mode. Yada, yada, yada. Here we go. Nice, sleek, black, nondescript car. If you know what type of car this looks like, good for you. Nice details, all the hubcaps or rims are painted. He has two guns, unlike Runamuck. This is what it looks like. You can see the molded in robot details in the windows. So they like the robot mode over the vehicle mode here. They figured everybody would do that. Tailpipes. You got this stuff right there. You have a stand port under here for stunt pictures. Oh. There you are. And here is his twin right here. There, you'll notice that there are little racing stripes and whatnot do not completely match. In fact, they're in completely different colors. You have the gold down there and you have this stripe down there and over here and whatnot. Gold over there. No gold in the back. I love that both of these have painted in rear lights. Hasbro usually avoids painting rear lights i'm noticing they didn't paint these um signal lights right there but cool whatever yay for them and it does this gun is identical but this one is different they can connect either way you can honestly combine all three now he has three scoops. So, hmm, I guess a part of the exclusivity deal, they could afford to put an extra gun in there. If you don't have run a muck, here's this comparison with Prowl. This mold is out there in, in retail. So, there you are. And the old who transformation. Where to start? I believe back here lift that up push these wheels in right there get this off of here and that's one thing I'll complain about it is very difficult to push this down I guess the paint helps hold it into place on run amok but get that into this orientation like this we can go ahead and slide these pegs out of here and one trick that I like to do that I showed off in the run amok video is the peg sits tight you can shift it up and shift it down to get that line lined up but get that out of there go ahead and bring the arms like this basically get the hands out of here There's no satisfying like click or anything to keep the arm straight. Now we can rotate this, bring the feet down like this, do a secondary push down on this, that like clicks. Bring the legs up like that, separate them, open the chest up and get the head out of here. I don't remember the head being so difficult. There is a little notch right there. It seems like it was difficult to get that under there and difficult to get it out. I don't remember that on runabout. And now we can push this up to here and definitely get that there. And now he is a robot. Here he is in his robot mode. And I'm so happy to finally have both of these guys. And I've, re I've just found out what the problem was as far as the head 
being more difficult. For whatever reason, there was like, seemed to be like some type of glue or something on the side of his head. It was like fused. So I couldn't make his head move. So I just wiggled it until I made him able to look up and down and then it could turn. I didn't want to have a whole Netflix hound incident again <laughs> where you rip the head off. But um, yeah, I love mostly black Transformers. Black with red, black with teal, black with purple. They always look good. Some people will probably complain. I, I heard people complaining that this was like too white or whatever. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I think there's enough color breakup like in the chest area that I'm happy with that. Then they have like the gold on the side right there, gold there. It definitely, this is what he's supposed to look like anyway. He was even more plain and white in the cartoon. There was no, no technical details or no sculpting in that, that mold on the cartoon. So that's what really helps me as far as these. And this, and this has the stripes going up the leg. Then the red is just so vibrant and bright in the handgun. And yeah, I think whoever made this, I wouldn't be shocked if it's one of their friggin' masterpiece designers. Because they went the extra mile of putting the extra wheel, which was in the cartoon, I believe. This is because the Battle Charger figure, the G1 figure, the wheels stayed back here. And when it, it automatically transformed, it like lifted up off of his back wheel. So, yeah. So, the extra effort they put into putting this there is really cool. One thing that would have been cooler is if they actually painted that rim. So I guess they didn't have enough paint budget for that. No, yeah, this, like all of this is painted white. All of his whole entire car mode is painted. So yeah, you don't notice because he's so white, but yeah. Anywho, one thing I realized after looking at the G1 pictures again, this is what their gun looked like. And since their arms didn't move, it was basically doors just hanging out like this on the side. You actually had to put the gun up there on the shoulder. And this is why I collect Transformers to this day. Because some G1 toys figured their toys sucked. And I'm so happy that we can get stuff like this now. Anywho, articulation to refresh your memory, if, or if maybe you didn't watch my run amok for some reason, you can look up because it's on a ball joint. You can look down, that panel can lift up like that. It can tilt side to side a little bit and rotate. Shoulders do this, rotate this way. It is because of he has that weird shoulder joint right here. He can't really do any outward motion all your outward motion is like this and that your bicep swivel elbow bends that much wrist just go in waist swivel the legs kick up way more than 90 degrees they stop right there because of the sculpting go out to the side all the way rotate here bend to there but then there's a transformation joint that lets you do that. It might look weird, but this actually helps with posing, really. Because you can get into a pose like this, and it looks normal. And, of course, you get ankle pivot. Every figure has seemed to be having ankle pivot. And the foot can go back. It can't really go forward at all. But all that articulation is awesome. I like that he comes with two guns. You can make him have either one big gun like I showed or two smaller ones. And of course, the tips of the guns are designed in such a way where you can put the blast effects that come with some of their battle masters. And does he have, he has a, a blast effect port right there and on the shoulder and is it on the back? Uh, not so much. Here's something I'm happy I paid attention to before I put this review up. They do actually have 
two separate head sculpts. And Runamuck has purple eyes, but here is his head sculpt right here. He has like the two stripes on the side, like the vents on the side of the mouth, and this is the shape of his head. Runabout, the shape of his head is completely different on the forehead. Um, he has, instead of two, he has three. And it is so difficult. He is just too dark. He is worse than freaking Trailbreaker. He has the three right there. And the vents on the side of the mouth are like a different shape. Oh boy, it is so hard to get both of the film, both of these guys at once. I was trying to do a thumbnail with both of them, but it one is too light and one is too dark. But yeah, they have different shape heads. Even the back of their heads are different. Like that, that looks like a weird face. That doesn't so much. Well, there you are with that. Here they are next to the two previous deluxes I reviewed. Goodness. Um, man, it sucks. I got so many comments with people telling me that their order got canceled for these two right there. That sucks. I don't know if y'all all pre-ordered in August when it actually came out. One dude said, I pre-ordered all the way in October. And I was like thinking, yeah, you, well, I didn't think that. I typed it. I think I typed it in the comments. You ordered way too late in, in October. But um, hopefully they'll restock. We're having a pandemic, everybody. Remember that. A whole bunch of stuff did not get on the shelves like they should get on the shelves. Transformers seem to be on the shelves better than any other toy line that I've collect that I've been collecting. Like I always see Transformers on the shelves, but G.I. Joe Classified and Marvel Legends and Star Wars, like I don't know what's going on. But they probably sell quicker than Transformers. So there you go with that. But hopefully they'll restock. All these stores seem to get one big wave first and then they will get like a second wave. And I haven't had any problems finding any of the Target exclusive stuff. I've seen Thundercracker and Skywarp multiple times. I saw the Wingspan and Pounce two-pack multiple times. So, good luck to y'all. Yo, you should be able to see a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of thrust. I'm pretty sure, I think this weekend, they got every store had eight of these. So, if they actually put it on the, on the shelf, because I think they were street dated, that set is probably gone. But um, they'll they'll get another set. Calm down. Anywho, thank y'all for watching this video. Until next time, T Man Nine Seven Eight out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos.